Minus communication in this video I'm gonna show you how you can reset your TP-Link TLWR841N wireless router if you forget your password and if your router is not working properly you can do a factory reset for this you need to connect normally the power connector to your router you don't need any other cable all you need to do connect the power connector and you will see the power lead on and here as you see at the corner the reset button is a small button you have to hold this button for 15 to 30 seconds when all the lead blink together so I'm gonna hold this as you see and as you see here you should see these leads as you see all the leads are blinking now and only one is remain you have to leave your hand at this moment and wait for a few seconds. All the settings at this moment will reset. Connect your router to internet. The direct cable from modem put at the blue port. And one of the yellow port put RJ cable. The LAN port ethernal cable and put the router one side. Now put the other side and port at your desktop or laptop PC. When you connect, you will get a new name of your router that is a default name as you see TP-Link D1F6H0 is connected and normally you can connect directly at this moment you don't need to set up nothing you can connect directly to the internet as this as you see I'm connected direct to the internet but at this moment you don't have any Wi-Fi for this you can go to any browser for example Internet Explorer and you have to type 192.168.1.1 when you type this one they will ask you username and password this is a control panel username and password of your tp link default username and password is admin admin the password is to admin admin after that click enter and this is the control panel of your tp link wireless router here you have to set up all first you have to go to wireless don't do nothing at the top at the wireless put a name to your router for example I will put Harry after that change your country location as I am now at Argentina I will put that okay Argentina is here after that hit save here don't do nothing else they will give you one warning click OK after doing this go to the wireless setting or wireless security and here is the default password they put 9876013 erase that one and put password as you want I, I will put QWERTY12 after that at the bottom you have to hit save when you save this one it's done all you need to do close this one disconnect this cable and you will see you are not connected more to the internet all you need to do you have to click at Wi-Fi signal and as you see Harry Zapier click that one click connect put your new password for example QWERTY12 click yes turn on sharing and you are connected now now let me check some some web page is working or not I click Google Chrome as you see Google is working and I can show some another page too freelancer page I'm opening and it's working fine so this is all this is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the iris communication www.iriscommunication.com good night Ciao.